Grant. The last time I ran, I believe, was the same day that Ed Barrier ran, led the Bush race back in August of 1990. Our cameras are back up and everything is. A big thank you to everybody who uh, kept us back on the air. Matt Kenseth in second place only has high gear. When they go back to the restart, he's really got to anticipate the start. They're going to get the restart now with 14 laps to go. The 25 lap rule does not apply here. So there you see the, the lap cars on the inside. So uh, it's going to be interesting restart here. Yeah, he only has high gear, but that's almost like first oh, gear. Oh, like you, you can see him dropping yeah. back right there. He lost about 10 car laps to the leader down into turn one. Again, down the final few moments here. Lap 287, 13 to go. Now the 99 is in 15th spot, Glenn Allen. There's Kenseth losing the spot to Presley, to Colt. You saw some smoke from the right front of Shane Hall's number 85. Now up front, you've got Barrier, the 77 going around the left machine of Glenn Allen Jr. Glenn Jarrett is now back online with us. What are you hearing? Well, you know, as I recorded to you guys, to, to tell you, he only has high gear, and it's a shame because he definitely had the best racetrack. When they run the green, he was mowing them down one right after another. Oh, that restart just absolutely killed him. Even though fourth gear is pretty, it's still pretty low here. All those other guys have the other gears to use, and uh, there's just not enough time for him to, uh, to get back up through there now. They're really disappointed down here. Matt's got a great race car. You're exactly right, Glenn, and this is a cool sport. One person is happy about that is Ed Barrier leading the race right now in that 77 as he heads off turn two. Mike Dillon a second. Hermie Sadler up to third. Super run for Hermie. You've got Robert Presley with his bumper dragging just a bit. He's running in fourth. Mike Colt is in there in the mix as well. There you see second place, 72. Dillon, Hermie Sadler who was inside of the 29. As we look from Dick Trickle backwards towards Dillon. You can see Hermie Sadler making a move as they head down into turn one there. Hermie Sadler pulls even with Dillon. He's losing that spot. The older of the Sadler brothers, Hermie, whose average finish here of late has been ninth, is now up to second spot. You can see he's absent a left front fender on that car in an earlier scrape here. Part of that fender is removed. Hermie Sadler made a full change on it suspension on that car before the race today. Hey, they guessed right. They did. It'll be five laps to go as they come to the stripe. Hermie Sadler in second. Unless something happens to Barrier, it's not going to be enough time to make up a full two seconds. But Hermie, who has led 181 laps here in his last eight visits and has completed 98% of the laps here at Hickory, is really doing himself proud. Remember, too, he had that leg bone reset after the race in Texas last weekend. Quickly to Glenn Jarrett. In the 72 pits, and uh, Mike's car, he's reporting it got very, very tight all at once. Could have a tire going down the cause that. Chris Fiedewa just gave him a big slot in the rear, so he may have trouble holding off Fiedewa for third. That barrier who took the lead on lap 194. He lost the one thing right now Ed Barrier has. It's his race to win. He could do something wrong, but he has a full straightaway lead over Hermie Sadler as they go down the back straightaway. It will be the white flag next time for the leader. Ed Barrier right there. White flag from Carl Simmons. Ed Barrier, who began in NASCAR Bush Series racing in 1984. Mike Dillon loses the spot to Tim, Tim Fiedewa there. And here comes Barrier in his 208th career NASCAR Bush Series race. He wins. Then Fiedewa behind Sadler. So Hernie is second, Fiedewa third, Dillon fourth. Kingston will finish in fifth. Presley comes across the line in sixth. Cope is seventh. Earnhardt Jr. is eighth. Shane Hall ninth. Jason Keller tenth. And Jimmy Means, yes, he's not on the racetrack, but he's a crew chief, and he is smiling. And Eli, Jimmy has ran hundreds of races as a Winston Cup driver. You get a win today here as the crew chief team manager. How does it feel, Jimmy? Well, I tell you, I raced for 25 years, drove for 25 years. I've never been that nervous that long. Felt good. Put a bunch of guys together. Wanted to go. I didn't know that much about racing, but put the heart and soul in. I'm happy for the guys to put all the hard in. Happy for our team. Team uh, Lear, UAW, stood behind us. Let me move this down to my shop. 
give me all the shots. Let me, you know, run the whole deal. And uh, appreciate Tony Hall and all the associates. You know, they put together a good bunch of guys there. And hope we do some more of this. Well, Eli, their best finish before today was 10th, but today they come home the winner. A super, super run. And we will go to, I'm sure, is going to be a wonderful victory lane ceremony. We're back to Hickory Motor Speedway in a moment. Today's Galaxy Foods 300 from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Glenn Jarrett, 208 races, and he's back in victory lane, finally. I can't tell you how much pleasure it gives me to congratulate this guy. Ed, I raced against you. What a great, great day. First win ever for Ford in Bush competition here. Your first win ever. What an awesome day. Uh, it's been a great day, man. I'm telling you, well, I got nerve-wracking there at the end because I knew, you know, Dylan was back there, and then I seen the 17 car come up there, and... I want to tell you what, the car just drove awesome all day. It got a little loose there at one point, you know, and just kind of tried to save the tires and all. And, uh, you know, I knew Dylan was back there. And we made some adjustments on that last stop there. And I'll tell you what, you just, just being in front means a lot, you know, staying out of trouble. And you got the whole racetrack to yourself. And I just got to thank Lear and uh, all these sponsors, UAW, Joe, Poker, Al. Hey, baby, we got one. They certainly did. As I told you at the beginning of the race, he started on the outside pole. I don't believe he was ever further back than second, Eli. It was a super day for him. Let's take a look at the rundown. Hermie Sadler, third time in four races now. He's finished second here at Hickory. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in eighth spot. Keller. Sawinski had a good run today in 19th. Andy Houston in 20th. A lot of guys just kind of championed around there, Larry. Well, it was kind of one of those days where all you had to do is keep rolling and you could have a good finish. Don't forget tomorrow.